you know around this time it is get dark real fast you know but don't worry god is light god is light and our texts today are john 8 12 and first john 1 5. john 8 12 says then spake jesus again unto them saying I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. 1 John 1 5 says, This then is the message which we have heard from him, and declare unto you that God is light, and in him is no darkness at all. Imagine a world that is in total darkness. There would be no plants, or animals, or people. In fact, there will be no life. It will be a bleak earth indeed. But the presence of light from the sun facilitates an earth bathed in light and teeming with life. That's the effect that physical light has on the world. But there is another kind of darkness in the world, spiritual darkness. We see this manifested all around us in the sin and depravity of man in crime and violence, in pride and selfishness, in lies and deceit, in lust and abuse, in disobedience and rebellion. This darkness dwells deep down in the heart of all mankind and is a symptom of spiritual death or separation from God. But over 2,000 years ago, at the celebration of the Jewish Feast of Tabernacles, Jesus boldly declared to the people, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. God is a light. And that is why Jesus, who is God incarnate, could make this astounding claim that he is the light of the world. And this light glows brightly and is able to shine into the recesses of man's darkened heart and dispel the spiritual darkness found in there. It has the ability to reveal the sinful condition of man and the eternal love of the Father who sent his only begotten Son into the world. This light is the redeeming light, bringing salvation and life to those dead in trespasses and sins who would believe in him. For the saving light of his truth and his word brings healing to the broken lives of Adam's fallen race, taking them out of the kingdom of darkness and placing them into the glorious brightness of God's eternal kingdom of light. When the God who is light shines upon us, the eyes of our hearts and our understanding are opened, for we are dead and blind to the light until we receive Christ into our lives. Then his light is poured into us so that we no longer walk in darkness, but in the light of God, doing the things that are pleasing in his sight. So just as physical light is necessary for physical life, God, the spiritual light of the world, is necessary for spiritual life. Today, the world is in deep darkness, filled with sickness, sin, wickedness and ignorance but there is hope for God is light and we who have received him have been assigned with the responsibility of allowing his light to shine through us into this dark world we are to walk in the light and point lost souls to the one who lightens our darkness and fills us with the light of life will you be that light Will you allow God, who is light, to shine through you today so that others too may come out of the darkness into the light? So yes, in a dark world, we are called to shine God's light. Remember, God is light and our topic or our discussion for today, well, this week, is to discuss ways that we can allow the light of God to shine through us. Yeah, because I think when you look at the world now, there's so much darkness and... The reality is that people who are lost or in darkness, they don't know that they're lost, you know. They don't know that they are in darkness. And yeah. Sometimes I, I have to remind myself, it's like if you learn the wrong lesson your whole life, you're going to believe it. 
So if you learn your whole life that this is blue, you're going to believe that it's blue. Mm -hmm. You're going to market the fact that it is blue. You're going to argue the fact that it is blue. Yeah. Or perhaps you may have learned that it was that's orange as a child. And then some fancy pants, false prophet, or person will come. Some science. And tell Not you that science is bad. Yeah. <laughs> and tell you something otherwise. Mm -hmm. You probably use big words and throw you off. And you believe it. And the reality is it's darkness and you don't know. And God has given us his light. Yeah. And it gives us so much wisdom. And you, you understand things. And you don't realize that it's not a commonplace thing to have a certain type of knowledge then. Right. Because, and we have to know God. And we have to know that God is light. Mm -hmm. We are yeah. not the light. No. God is light. And that's something that's important because when we have to let our light shine, it's because of God. Another way that we can allow the light of God to shine through us is by sharing our faith. So we were saved to shine the light of God. So don't hide your testimony, yeah. right? And it doesn't have to be in very active evangelism. If, if at this point you might be scared, still don't hide your testimony. But what you can do are very simple things. Don't be afraid to take your Bible to work and read it on your lunch break. Yeah. Don't be afraid to pray over your food in public spaces. These very small things um, will help us to shine God's light in a very quiet, subtle manner. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, I think an active evangelism, how about that? Yeah. Um, go brave into spaces where people are suffering. Go brave into places where people are dealing with abuse, um, death of a loved one, divorce. Go brave into people who are dealing with mental sickness. Mental disease is very prevalent right now. And, you know, the thing is, God would have brought us out of dark places yeah. because of his light. Yeah. And we have to do the same for others. Yes. and understand that it's not about it's not about you so you know sometimes you might be ashamed to say you know you would have gotten through this when you know who God is and understand that he is the light it's back in the day when you used to suffer from headaches and he healed you from it and then the other day when your leg was hurting because you exercised one day for the past to make up for the past 10 years <laughs> and you still pray over your leg even though it was your fault and he healed you from that because you know God you know who God is and that's what we're talking about knowing who God is so even when mental disease may have started to creep up on you in these times you know the same God Correct. that he is light he is light he could get you out of that darkness yeah. and he would have healed you from it and you have to go share that light now because the thing is the unfortunate but the reality is it when we don't share our light it doesn't make the world a neutral space you know yeah. somebody right. else is sharing their darkness correct it there is a, a darker space there is evangelism for other things that is not of God right now people are going out spreading that and it's it's being done in a really fast and furious manner right now there there's so many theories going on about end times right now that is contrary to what the Bible says but they're going out they're going out in the in yeah, sure. the moors yeah. and they're young people um, very young people, not young people who are afraid and trying to be popular, very young people who, who stop, that happened to me already, stop me in the mall to tell me some blasphemy, well you know you had to review that, no but what I'm saying, they're doing it, yeah, yeah, so Holy. we, yeah, yeah, we have to go out there and, and shed the light, yeah. and this is the real light, this is the light of God, yeah. this is the real power, this is the real sovereign God, who we have to know, and it is a privilege that we have it, because sometimes we think certain things are common sense, and it's not common sense it's God revealing things to us mm -hmm. it's not common knowledge at all and yeah. God is saving us because of that light from yeah. giving our heart to God and we have to share that light and show our light and let it shine brightly yes. for our God yeah